I'm Elizabeth Tingloff. I'm part of an artist collective group called uh, Rough Play. A project that we did at Launch LA sort of originated with Whistler's Peacock Room. The idea and that story. We all thought um, that it was really interesting some of the questions that were asked about that he was asking during that time seemed to be relevant today. So, and we saw that a lot of artists were in the Los Angeles community were working within these same questions. We used the Whistler's Room as a platform and then took a contemporary slant on it. Using instead of one artist taking over a room, we made it a group taking over a room. painted it and put wallpaper on it and one of the artists even did a wall drawings and for instance we have one of the artists made a rug and another one made an actual piece of furniture that you can sit on but then others did it from an abstract standpoint. Whistler's Peacock Room was really a room that was originally supposed to be designed around holding a patron's collection of blue and white porcelain. And when he uh, started, the, where the title comes from is that he's quoted being saying that, you know, he just sort of continued without design or sketch. And from his standpoint, he felt he's an artist. How could his patron not love everything that he did? And then there was this controversy because he wasn't given permission to do it, that the patron didn't want to pay for the full price and he ended up paying for half. There was this sort of argument over money. Whistler didn't really understand it because to him it was a conversation of beauty and artistic journey. And yet, the room stayed intact. The patron, Leland, never took the room apart. He kept it exactly the way that it was, and then it was moved to the Smithsonian. Mm -hmm. 